Hey Sid, um, I might be really late on this response, but um, I just watched your Invitation to Fear, and um, I think it's the first one, The Fear of Intimacy, and uh, I was inspired to respond, so I'm responding. <laughs> You ask quite a few questions about intimacy, so I'm just going to touch on uh, one or two that actually resonate with me um, to try to make this really as quick as possible. So if this video response is too late to make it into your montage, then, um, you know, that's okay because, uh, well, we are talking about intimacy, so, I mean, it, as quick as it can be, then the less intimate I have to be. <laughs> you ask about... Um, being intimate as a, I don't know, as a sing being alone, being not in a relationship, being a single person. And I really believe that the only way that we can be intimate is to first be intimate with ourselves. Um, there's no way we could be intimate with other people before we get a chance to be really intimate with ourselves. The intimacy that I'm talking about is self-reflection. Um, really looking into a mirror, taking your spirit and putting it out there and, and you know, looking at it and loving it for all that it is, all the guts and glory. And um, I spent a lot of my adult life as a single person and learned a ton about intimacy, probably more about intimacy, mm, just different things about intimacy as a single person. I spent a lot of time alone. I spent like all my hours just sort of, you know, being on the beach. I lived in Venice at the time, so I would just be like on the beach and writing and reading and listening to music and just sort of being internal and learning about fear and learning about intimacy. And then I took all of that and brought it into my external experiences and shared my life with other people, with another person, with significant people, with a significant other. And, um, that's all because of working on sort of my own intimacy. It's always happening. It's never ending. The fear of intimacy is just there. Intimacy is just, it's there. There's always a choice to show up for it or to be afraid of it and run from it. And, uh, and I'm challenged with that choice daily, daily, minutely. Um, so there's that. Intimacy, broken down, is into me see, into me see, intimacy. I was just like, whoa, that's amazing. That makes complete sense. Because there's no way that we can be, you know, connect with another any more than we connect with our own selves. I realize I'm putting it in like complete general, like a we and a they and a you. I struggle with intimacy all the time. It's just the way it is. But I am I am challenged to show up and I'm challenged to sort of like look in eyes and be present in my body and you know feel the anxiety and feel the fear and write about it, sing about it, vlog about it, blog about it and walk through it. Whether it's holding my own hand, holding my partner's hand, being held by my partner, having my dogs around me, my cat, the ocean, the earth, bloggers, vloggers, I mean just everything about life. I think what you're doing is amazing and I'm looking forward to the next installments. Uh, fear rocks my world in so many different ways. So, um, so this is great and it's great to get to know you through your videos and um, have fun with the project. Okay, bye.